Hey, what up, though? Good morning. Hey, sorry about that. We're on Black People Time. Speaking of Black People, MLK Day. Happy MLK Day. We had some technical difficulties, but we are here. How y'all doing? Laughing in the flesh. Hey, hey guess who's back in the studio, y'all? Danny. Hey. Danny. Hey, everybody. Yeah, she didn't get laid off. She, she had the day off. One of the few jobs that uh, <laughs> still allow black people to be off. What's up, Arnell? I'm still, bro. How you doing? I'm good. Tamisha, how was your weekend? It was wonderful. Thanks That's for good. Asking. That's good. So what, what you got on current events there, man? What you want to talk well, about? Well, what events? really amazed me this week was, um, you know, the big hoopla about Lansing and boarding up the cap, the state capitol and, and, and the uh, supposed march by the um, armed people. Um, it wasn't nearly as bad. It wasn't nearly as bad as they um, made it out to be. Why do you think that is? Because what happened? Uh... Well, this week they were ready for it. Well, last week they weren't ready for. Well, a couple weeks ago they weren't ready for it. You know, if they were Black Lives Matter, you know, everybody would have been out. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. State yes. troopers, um, National Guard. Hell, at one point Trump, Trump was talking about sending the army to uh, Chicago. Oh, yeah, to calm down the violence over there. But, yeah, but, yeah. The, but see the thing, man. Uh, white people don't kill white people. No, they don't. They don't. Yeah. They, they just don't. I mean, unless it's a it's, it's gotta be trailer yeah, trash. Don't. And no, they don't. DUI, drunk driving. But in White people sit up and kill their mamas and daddies, the grandmas, and never behead them we're and talk, everything. That, well, those we're talking crazy about, crazy they crazy. People. We're talking about, yeah. we're talking about yeah. sensible, people. radical people. Yeah, they don't. Radical, sensible. Your radical mic is not. Is your mic on? I don't think my mic on. Yeah, her mic's not on. Um, no, but you know what? When they when they kill in that fashion, they they go all the way. Yeah. But when you have a situation where they're face to face, unless it's a direct war, uh, that's not happening. That's not happening. Uh, so, what do you expect the inauguration to be like this week, man? Well, um, they're ready for it this week. Last week they weren't they, they weren't yeah, really they weren't ready Thank for you. it. This week, um, everybody's on standby. They even have the National Guardsmen sleeping in yeah. the Capitol. Yeah, they need to because wow. because they were sleeping last time. Not the guards, but the no, Capitol. That was, that was, the Capitol, the that Capitol was, police were sleeping. To was me, slipping. that was the president. You know, <laughs> yeah. the president had everybody on stand down instead of you know still stand by. Stand by. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. And that was uh, from legislators all the way down to firemen. Police officers, um, police officers, yeah. Navy SEALs, retired Air Force, Army, uh, Navy. colonels. You know, we're talking about this was so large. They actually attempted an actual coup. They could have started another revolution right. or, or, uh, or what was it, civil war. Yes, Cause yes. you got to remember half of the country thinking one way and the other half of the country thinking another. We're thinking, okay, win or lose. We're gonna go ahead and, and accept the president, whoever it is. All right. All right. So check this out. We're gonna we're gonna speed past all of that. Uh, Martin Luther King Day. Um, shout out to the King family, uh, to all those who you know who respect King and his legacy. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you something. The man's done a lot for us. I don't believe that we have <laughs> overcome. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't. I think we are past due. Um, but I do like his speech um, from the mountaintop, which okay. was, it was his last speech. Yeah. Very profound, very opposite of what he was talking about, little black boys, little black girls, holding hands and all this other stuff, you know. And, you know, in a, in a fantasy world, that would really be nice. That's, I think that would have been, that's part of God's plan. But, you know, the devil also has a plan, too. Of course. Uh, but when he starts talking about, you know, he he feared that he may led us into uh, uh, a burning, burning house. house right. uh, I wish we had the video that we could play, um, but it's on YouTube uh, from the mountaintop. It's like two minutes and thirty eight seconds long, and uh, it's it's really a radical speech. Yeah. H how do y'all feel about that? Yeah, it's definitely to be respected. Um, you know, everyone. <laughs> it's like they do a versus even now. You know, Martin Luther King versus Malcolm X. Oh, you wow. know, it's still it's still prevalent. It's like you yeah. have. One who sides with the other, but I always respected Dr. King because he spoke both spoke from the heart, but he didn't let that deter him yeah. from. And yeah. he would have been 92 this wow. week. Yeah. Wow. Do you think he would have stayed? Do you think he would have would became more radical? You know, like based off his last speech, had he lived. Yeah. 
I do because yeah. I think because ch- times changed, so yeah. his character would have stayed the same, but his principles would have stayed the same, but maybe his character would have been a little bit more, right, a little bit more thuggish, a little bit more. Thuggish. You know, when I when I look at <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. You know, I, I hate to say it, we we need a little bit more thug, and mm-hmm. and in, in our politicians. I believe that if when I look at Martin and Malcolm, I'm not comparing them, but Martin is. Well, he was, or he is. It's still his legacy still lives. Right. Was the kid that was told, okay, no matter what they do to you, take the high road. You know, let God get them. Mm-hmm. Um, Malcolm was the one that your mama told you, you let them kids beat you up. When you come home, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Right. So you need to handle that before you get back here. Yep. Uh, two different approaches, two different outcomes. Um, and do res- you know all respect to to MLK? But man, I, I hate to say it. A lot of that stuff that's not that's not working out for us today, no, man. Not. Well, what 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 happened? I don't know if you you know we need to look into Claude Anderson, Dr. Claude Anderson from Michigan. Actually, he lives in D.C. now. But the thing is, he talked about the fact that integration didn't do us all that great. No. When we integrated, we gave up. Yeah. Most of the stuff, um, the white people didn't give up anything. We we gave up our, you know, at that time heritage, mm-hmm. um, the things that we had come used to. You know, we uh, we had our own banks, we had our own, we had our own Black Wall Street. We had our own Wakanda, basically. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And I think that's what we need to really get yeah. back to, getting back to. You know, if people want to be in our community, they should be in our community. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I don't think um, we should have people from the outside of our community coming in, withdrawing the money, mm-hmm. and leaving the community and leaving the community dry. Um, so I think that um, we need to start thinking more so about Black economics. Yeah, integration was all about money. Yeah, all about it's about all about money, yeah. and that money leaving the Black community, um, even to this day. And then right. government stepping in yep. and giving that money. Yep. And government yeah. wasn't Black giving money. Exactly. Government was them giving money, and, and we even, took it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. That's right. Exactly. Even with the churches, yeah. you know, even with the churches. Yep. Uh, is, help me out, Danny, I'm, in case I'm wrong. Is that why a lot of the churches are going non-denomination now? So they can pretty much say what they want to say and it's not governed the, by the government? You basically, know, the, that was okay. Macedonia. We were always non-denominational from my great-grandfather, great-grandfather, mm-hmm. great-great. They always stay non-denominational. Um, and even when the pandemic hit and everybody was, you know, getting funding, even churches were getting government funding to keep their doors open. Pastor Twyman said, I remember him saying that he was like, no, thank you. Yeah. He refused to. He was like, no, we take care of we'll take God will take care of us. We'll be OK. So it was never a matter of we opened up a preschool. My cousin and I, we started a preschool and we were using the church as the place to the facility for the preschool. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, his only stipulation was, even though it was a separate entity, his only stipulation was you would not do, um, what is it, Head Start, because right. the government is going to be doing the funding. Okay. So, no, I won't charge you rent for the space. You make what you make from the parents paying, but we are not going to let the government will not come into right. our house. No, and right. it was based upon that because with the government That's smart. and the Head Start funding programs, right. they had a lot of things that were not with the curriculum that we were trying to teach. I, w- I want to say this. You know, it's funny about you when you talk about the Head Start. This is talking about um, look, dating myself. I'm telling you how old I am. I'm 100 years old. But <laughs> when, when they, I was one of those first people who started mm-hmm. Head Start. Oh yeah, back in the '60s, and we talk about my, my mother used to always, you know, she was she was happy about the fact that I was one of those kids that, that had that was in that pilot program, right. you know. Like I don't know if you remember Sesame Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sesame Street started in the '60s yeah. for the kids that was coming up. Yeah, well, I grew up on Sesame Street. <laughs> we all did. I grew up yeah. on reruns of Sesame Street. <laughs> 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 Me and Misha, we reruns, reruns, Misha, reruns. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Sesame Street was live it for, was. For, for 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 a long time and. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know if you remember the speech when Michael Maxey said, uh, what type of person allows his enemy to educate his children? Right. You know, like right now during, a, during this pandemic, I think this is the greatest time for us as parents and grandparents because this time we get to pour into our children and educate them mm-hmm. for real yeah. according to what we think is right. right. We give them some history. Okay. We give them some education for us in math and, and reading and writing, and we see what we're doing. Right. Um, so often the kids are um, 
housed in what they call what we call schools, mm -hmm. and especially in our community, we yeah. send them there, and, and they just um, check this out. On the movie American Skins, I gotta check that out. It's okay. on, uh, on Prime. I was gonna ask you um, on Prime. Yeah, it's on Prime. Okay. Really good. Uh, can't remember the brother's name, but the one that did uh, Birth of the Nation, um, and he's doing a movie about Nat Turner. They okay. went dug up all his old situation that he went through, allegedly went through at Penn State, right. saying that he had raped a white girl or something like yeah. that. Yeah. They will dehumanize. Yeah. Yeah. So he did another movie. Uh, along with Spike Lee, called American Skin. Okay. And th there's there's a quote in there that says, "Public schools are are built like prisons. Mm -hmm. Private schools are built like colleges. Mm -hmm. So That's therefore, good. public schools never get nope. the same incentive that suburban kids or or white kids exactly. would get. It's like so pretty much it's set up for failure. So the gentleman that made the quote, he said, where does your kid go to school? He said, did your kid go to public school? He said, hell no. He said, I want my kids to learn something. And of course, he was white. Right. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he said, so that's the point that I'm proving. And it's true. You, you send your kids to private school so they can get further ahead. Not saying the public school don't do well, uh, but the, with the lottery and all that stuff set up, the money's supposed to go yeah. to the educational system, but it only goes to the educational system in the suburbs because I can recall when my sons were playing football out in a Wall Lake, the school had like a $5 million sports facility now. Wow. wow. But yet you're closing all the schools. You, what is it, only like three high schools left in Detroit? Four high schools? Right. Yeah, it's a whole, yeah, right. whole bunch of it's charter. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think you, you got saying? Henry Ford. And what can we know? Cash, 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 Cash King, King, Renaissance, Renaissance, and Ford is still um, a Detroit public school, right? Henry Ford High School. I don't know. I really don't I'm, know. I'm, Everything I'm else is charter. But, I know yeah. Pershing is charter now. And I think I the know. New McKenzie uh, is charter. Charter, it is. Southeastern is charter. Yeah. Yeah. Southeastern is charter. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's messed up, man. Yeah. That's one of the oldest schools in the city, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. So look, one of the things I want to get into today, we're leading up to something. Um, how are we feeling about a black messiah? Do we need another black messiah? Uh, example. Uh, Hell, the first one was black. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to say another one. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? And they killed all of them. Right. Yeah, they will. And they knocked you know? their ass off. Yeah, they killed all of them. <laughs> but that's the fear. That's why they um, they commit genocide on on our race uh, because of the fact they fe the fear of a black messiah. Yeah. They think of, um, like, that's why they, they don't want another person like King or Malcolm X. See, because if you electifying like that, they, they, or um, if you show that you can bring our community together, they don't want that. Right. Because they, they don't want us to be unified. Now, so that, that right there in itself should bring us closer together and stop us from killing one another. Because, number one, um, if you don't want it, I should want it. Right. right. I should I should be embracing it. But instead of embracing it, we we're acting just like they want us to act. Mm -hmm. We're we're going right along with the program. Yep. We're killing one another on a daily basis for random stuff. Yeah. Dude stepped on my shoes. Oh, God, he yeah. looked at my lady. The dude on um it was on John, uh, Joy Road and Dexter. Uh, he killed three people because somebody looked at his girl's butt. And no, it was more than what? that. They were bullying him. They were. Th they were. Oh, him and his lady was okay. going to get something to eat. You walk into a place, as soon as you walk oh, in, damn, she got a one. fat ass. Yeah. Wow. Damn, look at him. Look at them biscuits he got on. Wow. Oh, dusty ass nigga. You know, and you standing there with your girl. What are you supposed to? She, to the point where they were so tense, she passed her weapon. Oh, she I remember passed it to him. And he lit their ass. And up. when that guy, when that guy moved, that's when he, he probably thought like shit, it's either us or them. But see, right. sometimes though. We don't kill when it counts, though. But, and I know that's a crazy statement, but yeah. I'm gonna say this. Um even in the Bible, I tell you it's a time to sow, it's a time to kill. Yeah. When it's when it's time, it's we don't kill right. when it counts. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about self-defense. Um when harm is brought upon your family to your doorstep. I'm not talking about like over oh, no money, no female. I'm talking about when there's insurrections and people right. coming at you and they and they're waving a flag or somebody's trying to do you wrong. That's when you take people down. It right. is a law that said you can protect yourself. Yeah. We don't kill when it counts, man. Right. And then we don't take the education to learn 
how to defend yourself. Right. Now, I'm not talking about going out here randomly killing people because, you know, you, you have like a difference of opinion. Like y'all doing non-slow heads. Yeah. yeah. Right. But what I'm talking about, what, what I'm talking about is like, if, if the Bloods and Crips, if y'all listening, man, and I know some of y'all in L.A., yeah. Bloods, Crips, Latin Counts, uh, any these other headbanger gangs, man, if y'all start right. rallying together, man, and protect your neighborhood from the outsiders, man, and I'm not talking about people that look like you. I'm talking about people that's coming through your neighborhood, doing these parades and rallying and running across your grass with the flag. That should never happen. Mm -hmm. man. Traumatizing y'all kids. I guess my thing, too, is with all of those gangs that you're speaking of, I really would like to see the first generations, the older generations of these gangs. It's like they had a little bit more yeah. togetherness, a little bit more. Yeah. They had code of conduct. Whereas the younger generation coming behind them, they're not. So it's just kind of like true. they're just, you know, but check this out. Fire. You, you're absolutely right. But guess what? It, with, with every gang, these guys grow up. Mm -hmm. And when these guys grow up, I was just told some mm -hmm. information. Uh, I'm not going to name this city, but and I imagine it's almost probably every city. And I've seen it in L.A. These guys are the Bloods and Crips. They get onto police departments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're still, they still have a right. blood Dang bash affiliate. honor right. to the streets. So therefore, if if I'm a cop and I used to be a blood, which I'm not, and now I become I become a cop and now I'm a chief, and then now I go to I go to school to become a judge. Right. Any blood that come through, you still have a. a I still a, got a, 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 a alliance with them, yeah. man. Yeah. I got an alliance with them, so they're not gonna get the time. Okay. At all, or they gonna make the case disappear. So. Just because you climb up the ladder of being a gang member don't mean that it disappears. Right. You're just handling stuff on a corporate level. Well, that's what I think um, we should do as a, as a family. Anyway, yeah. uh, back in, uh, in, I want to say the first um, Greek fraternity started, it was, was, I knew it was someone 1911, was <laughs> yes. when, when they had the, the, the uh, alphas. Yeah. Yep. And the alphas, and then came on the kappas and the Qs, mm -hmm. and later on with the sigmas. But the thing is, is like if we can get these guys to, to organize a little bit more profoundly yeah. and, and do things openly uh, uh, opposed to doing things behind closed doors. Yeah. Represent um, your clique, and, man, and come together exactly. as a people. And, and like the Black Masons, like Prince Hall, yeah. then yeah. you got, mm -hmm. um, uh, what do you call it, the International. Yeah. Um, it's like, we, well, we consider them clandestine because, right. but because they were Black Masons. I don't know, um, in, in Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, they had Channel 62 that was ran yeah. by the International Masons. Yep. But see, I didn't I know that that, that. that was um that I was that's how was Channel yeah. sixty two was started. You yeah. Know? Wow, check that out. Yeah. So check that out. So let me ask y'all something. Well, all this stuff going on, this this is a very controversial question. I ask I ask somebody, and I don't even know if people can answer this question. But all the stuff that we've been through as as black people and you know, and descendants of slaves, all the rough patches, the killings, the murders, the cops killing young people, um, just the, just the atrocities of crime committed to us. This is just a question. Can somebody answer this question? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is not being blasphemous. Mm -hmm. Where is God in all this while we've been getting killed, murdered. He dwells so. within us. See, see, we've been programmed to think that God is some super green being that's going to come back from the sky and going to rapture us and, and, and do all that kind of stuff, right? Um, I'm not saying the rapture is not real. What, what I'm saying is that God dwells in each and every yeah, one Yeah, but of the question us. that I'm asking is... Right. Where was God? The supreme being. Right. We're, you know, as a people... We're going through this. What does God have to say about this? I've been waiting for, I haven't heard one preacher, one pastor. I have not heard one. I've been looking, I've been looking, I've been looking. I don't know if they're scared to touch on that. Mm -mm. Danny, what, you, you got something? Pastor Twyman, I, Pastor May not, they ain't scared. They don't, they, and what I've gathered in, and not just to say that I've only 
Um, I've sat under them my whole life, but I also have a mind of my own and I right. read the Bible. Yeah. And the thing is that people have the will of free choice. That's right. You have exactly. The will of free that's, choice. The, that's the answer I came and up with last the night. The thing about it, too, is, is that, yes, we are going through a lot now. Yes. Here. We truly are. But this is should not be the end of your story. Right. Um, eventually, a lot of people, this is their heaven. This is their hell here on earth. This yep. ain't mine. Yep. So, yeah, we're going to go through it. We went through slavery. I believe that everything that we went for, and they say, well, we are a chosen people. We are God's people. Yes, and this is why you're still able to sit there and say that because he hasn't struck you down yet. Yeah. You still have time. This is true. This so is I true. truly believe that he still has, he's still there. He's still watching. He's still waiting. And when that day does come, that he does come back for his people, he's coming back for his people who never left his side. Okay. Do we get automatic pass to heaven considering all the hell we've been through? Okay. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just saying. No. You know, I'm just trying to get some, you know, some Jesus says credit. My thought is, I'm asking for a friend. It's okay. <laughs> my thought is, okay. Why do he get his pie in the sky today, and I gotta get mines in the sweet by and by? Because these these people that are oppressors, like Danny said, and I just had this conversation with somebody last night. And I said the same thing. I was trying to trying to figure out what's the answer to that. It's really not an answer, but but what you said is the same thing I said. We all have been given the gift of free will. Mm -hmm. the only but is problem that the is, programming that hold, we have hold on one second. Through. Well, the, the, we all been given the, the gift of free will, but. These other people, these oppressors, impose their free will on everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but yet and still, now you, you got to think mm -hmm. these are the same people that have pro uh, propagated the Bible. Everything in the Bible, it came out of Africa, right? Okay, they have misinterpreted it. They have they've changed it and they manipulated it. So they they even have a, a, a scripture where they say, uh, "Honor your earthly masters." Right. That kind of that. So you trying to manipulate me through my religion because black people are the most religious people in the world. Turn the other That's cheek. The problem yeah. is that we're so focused on being religious people. Yeah. I tell people all the time because it's like, well, how can you this, that, and the third? It boils down to you have your own personal relationship with God. You yes. have to have your own personal relationship with God. I can't tell you how you should have your relationship with Him. That's you right. can't tell me how I should have my relationship with him. But all I know is that how I live for him and how I believe in him is what's going to get me to the next level. It's going to get me to heaven. And that's between him and I. Okay. So and everything that we've been taught came from home. It came from our parents and it came from mm -hmm. their parents and everything we, we know and everything we we believe as but religious, not all but of everybody. Us. But parents I'm just saying, was, but everybody parents didn't. They right. You got you got four and five generations of exactly. of Muslims. I mean, she's not yeah. saying anything. She's shaking her head. Oh, she got something to say though. Go ahead. No, no. As far as everything we have learned came from our parents, that's a lie. Right. Well, everything we learned. I'm talking about far as religions. Okay. That's well, even, that too. I, my mother. I remember going to church, but I remember going across the street to a Catholic church on my own. Mm. I was young okay. doing, you know, toast. I think the village, the community, that's yeah. where we get majority of, like, our knowledge from. We okay. Honestly. Okay. And depending on your village, because some yeah. of your villages got some idiots. In yeah. yeah. A <laughs> lot of it. I, 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 I receive <laughs> that. I receive that. But, but no, I mean, but what you, the point that you're but, making is, though, I mean, we, we learn some form of religion and our ethics everything our is passed down from either our, our parents or our our grandparents or whatever they taught. I, I will I will say this: there was a lot of things that I were that I was taught mm -hmm. that when I started learning the truth, I started changing up and I started teaching my son something yeah, you a little to. bit different. And even and I'm gonna tell you something, Pastor Twyman. I remember when he uh, he switched over. He talked about switching over from the uh, King James to the NIV, NIV. because. Right. Of course, King Amen. James was homosexual. Yeah. yeah. And then Oprah. and and yeah, yeah. And then and then there are certain Bibles that they're eliminating the word black yeah. from the Bible. I'm gonna give you a prime example. Like last night I went to Revelations, I want to say twelve, and I was I was trying to pull up the insurrection that okay. was in the Bible. Man, they have edited that edited so small. It was just like and pretty much it said, and then there was a fight. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so what happened? If you go to the message, the message I was Bible. Like, well, what? The message Bible, what they don't say blessing. They say luck. They say. So, yeah, you got to look at those yeah, things. Yeah, you got to look right. at it. Yeah. It's like, man, I want to see the fight. I want well, to know what happened. To see the fight. And it was just like, it was like, and the dragon rose up and it was a fight and the angels, they was kicked out of heaven. I was like, man, 
I remember it being more than that. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was more than that. It was more than that. It was. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to try to compare that to what was to what happened. Out. And the reason being is because you have you have a lot of people who are just like, oh, the Bible's so boring. It's so this. It's so that. It's and you, oh, it's and you don't know. It's the most gangster book on the face it of the is, earth. It is, and you don't know. And it's it's interpreting one thing. It's telling you another thing. It's so contradicting. It's so, and it's just like, oh my gosh. You have some people who want to argue the Bible, but they have yet to go from Genesis yes. to Revelation. Yes. yes. So you can't argue with me about it if you have never sat down and not just read from Genesis to Revelation, but decipher it. Read other, like you stated. There are other. Okay, Okay, let me tell you guys this. What I learned was the knowledge that comes to it, and there are different factors that break it down, but if you get the Blue Letter Bible, the Blue Letter Bible, it breaks down oh, every version okay. for you. Um, and I had to do that because it was like, okay, all right, you can't sit up in church and you raise your hand like, I have a question about that pastor. Right. Uh, right. You know, so, but why not, though? You, be, why not? Because it's, you're going to be there forever. But, but Sunday not school. That's, you that, do that, that is, Sunday that, school that, and Bible school study. study. Right. Yes, yeah. you could do that in there, yeah. but, you know, you're trying to get the message. Because at that point, it's a lecture, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so look, I want to make a couple little points, then we're going we gonna to get out of here, man. Because, you know, hey, look, y'all call in 248-854-9850, 248-854-9850. Uh, call and let us know how we can get some uh, some biblical extra credit. Jesus extra credit. Uh, <laughs> uh, asking for a friend, you know. Um, asking for a friend. Yeah, he asking is that for a friend. friend. He is uh, that friend. Can't announce him on the air. All right, so look, some things that I, I want to be able to acknowledge, I want people to, to never forget. Um, you know, along with Brianna, you know, and and what's my man? George Floyd. Yeah, all those people, man, you know, God bless their soul, man. You know, I don't know if we could call them martyrs. Or, I don't want to call them. Right. Just they the were magic. victims, but I don't want to call them victims, victims man. Right. They, they are victims, but it's like they're part. They're, they're still part of that legacy. that legacy of MLK. You know, it's at some point, man. I want to see a list of the dudes that, uh, you know, that go down a profile picture be a mugshot. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when we go, when we gonna see that? Well, I'm not inciting no right. I'm just saying, but you know, you get you get tired of all the turning the cheek. I want to see Jaquan from the East Side stood up against uh, such and such group, radical group, yeah. and uh, before you know, before he took down twenty seven of their soldiers, uh, he got locked up. That's that's the part they don't want us to know. Wow. But from saying though, if you know the stuff that that's happening, if if, if some group of people just come out of our people, stick together, like I said, with all these gangs and fraternities. And everything ain't about warfare, it's not. but it needs to be a warfare it's about of the mind yeah. first. Yeah. And right. that's why we need to, to write. write everything down. We have to create our we own history. Yeah. And Ms. Famadu, I know she created a group to where, like, she's um, tracing and marking down everything that's happening because it's a lot of stuff that we don't know about. Yeah. So, yeah, she's actually writing her own that's history good. book for us. So that's pretty dope. And I um, tag you in. The name of it, I don't know. Miss okay. Famadu, if you're watching, tap in and tell us what's the name of your group. All I'm going to say is this, with the, with all the black messiahs that have ever brought down, you know, I, I guess we can put George Floyd in there because he changed the world, man. Yeah, yeah I was going yeah. to yeah, say he, that. He, he changed the world. Got, and a lot of people want to argue. Would you say he, his, his legacy, not legacy, but his death, Hit harder yeah. than, than his MLK. Life. His, his so was it up because there because it was yeah. more it was more recent. It's more prevalent to us. MLK, we weren't either. We were small children, yeah, we, or we weren't yes. born then. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with George Floyd, it was like out it was a tragedy oh, that it, it hit us like, all. And what yeah. y'all gonna do about exactly. it? Exactly. Right. And we stood. We united as a people to ask that question: What are you going to do, do about, about this? It. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why this becomes the legacy of George Floyd. If you want to agree with everything that happened with him or not. That's yes. Because you yeah. have some of us who don't. Yeah. Still don't think a man should have died when he was telling them, I can't breathe. breathe. But we all, the majority of us, we came together and said, nah, this enough ain't right. Enough. But yeah, enough my enough. point is, and I, I know this is going to be kind of little, I'm not kissing your ass. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. over with, you, man. I, that, that, that. That's over with. Whatever, whatever yeah. you're doing to me, if I did, if I messed up, I take that ill. Yeah. I take yeah. that ill. Take I'm not going out saying, please, officer, or please, please this, and this, please, please that. that. No. I'm yeah. taking whatever ill I got to take, I got to take it. And we talk about man up. 
Do not kiss those people's ass. No, right. you don't. You know what? And at the same time, don't be ignorant. Yeah. Don't. And don't, yeah. don't be, and it's a way to go about it, man. Yes. I mean, because I remember when Sandra Bland was killed. I oh. was stopped that very week. And mm-hmm. all I kept saying was, I'm not going to be a hashtag. Yeah. I kept saying That's that. That's right. Yeah. And the officer, I had my I remember that so post. See, yeah. You posted, I, I remember that. So he yeah. could see them. Mm-hmm. I said, my ideas in my purse, my doors are unlocked. You can get it. I'm not moving my hands. And well, he, he can was get like, what? You know, he said, he said, you, I just you want said to go home. You said he can get it. You can get it. Yeah. That's, how, that's how you get out the ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said you can get it. I said, oh, you okay. can get my car. Oh, okay. I said, that's I said, how that works? But I did tell him, I said, I just want to go home. And yeah. he said, I just want to go home, too. But he knew that I carried because yeah. he saw yeah. my license, whatever. But he was just like, I do, too. I said, I just want to go home. Check and I was out. really, but I could have been like, why are you stopping me? And da, da, And I'm not yeah. saying that yeah, she did it. For that. But I don't Y'all have time listening to, to Jay-Z shit. and shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Listen, oh, I and this movie, right. American Scan, uh, there's a part. Y'all got to check this movie out, American Scan American on uh, Amazon Definitely. Prime. There's, there's a part where a cop is being asked why a shooting occurred. And they kept badgering him, badgering him. And he just finally broke out, broke out crying. This is a white cop. He said, because I'm scared and yeah. I want to get home to yes. my kid. But yes. you kill somebody else's Elsie's child. child. Yep. But you worried about getting home yep. to Man, if you're scared, go to church, man. Don't get on the, the force. Town, well, right. the thing is. There's a lot of know. punk ass coward cops out there, black and white. Man, if you're scared, man, I tell you what, do yourself one better. You ain't got to go to church. Just get a different eat job. that bullet, man. Just get take yourself up out of it. Instead of you going out here killing random people, man, mm-hmm. eat that one yourself, man. You know, well, I mean, you because you you taking people, you shattering people' lives yeah. because you scared or because you were, first you was a bully right. or you got bullied. Bully. Yeah. Now you on the got police bullied. force. Now you want to be a bully. Yeah. Now you because a phone don't look like this. Where's the trigger at? Right. This right. ain't no gun. Right. Especially well, some of these dudes out here, they ain't holding their phone like this. They no, hold their phone like, like this. So who yeah. you going to shoot? Right. <laughs> right, right, right. That is not a threat. Right. See, that, that looked at, no, it's not I'm a threat. Not right. I'm just yeah. saying, man. Come and on. They are, and I don't know if you guys have heard this, but I received some mail, some mail the other day from the NRA because I belong to oh, NRA. Yeah. And they were the saying NRA. how, you know, make sure you're registered with yep. the NRA. I love the fact that they represent, they send representation mm-hmm. for you, this, that, and the third. Fine. But they <laughs> sent a letter and it's like, make sure that you are registered because the government is going to come to your home and demand your guns. And I'm laughing because I'm like, I really want to see that because I'm going to ask you, did you go over on Davidson and Linwood? Yeah. Did, did you go over there? How'd that go? How'd that work out? How'd that work Danny, out? I heard that too. Yeah. I yeah. registered because, you yeah. know, I was already in the system to register. How much money do you have to pay? Um, I pay like 35 See? for everything. It's, they it's sell about the, the dollar. Yeah. yeah, it's about the dollar. It was like 100 I mean, it's still a, a good you know, group to be with. But can they come in and, like, take our guns? They can't do that. They stand government. That's, that's what these guys that are fighting about. That is part of the, the Second is, Amendment. You but can't, that, they can't, you, you, you have the so, right to bear But arms. this is what Biden was saying that he is for. And yeah. I'm saying I really want to see how that's going to yeah. happen. We're talking yeah. about because you got, you got massive Yeah, you got Second weapons. Amendment, right. You got, you got weapons that can actually yes. you know, kill a lot of people. Yeah. You know, you when do. you talk about the AR-15s and, and you know, oh, speaking of, the M-16s. and I got a gift today. Uh-oh. This ain't no commercial, but... Be some yeah. bullets, y'all. Yeah. Where you go? Oh, you can't tell this on air because you're not they're not endorsing this. No, I'm not gonna tell. Okay. They bullets. Yeah. They work. No, I'm just saying I gotta get some more. Well, the <laughs> thing, is, the, what the thing is, after oh, yeah. that, 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 my um, brother thing, got them for me today. And the, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, um, the at the Capitol, they went. They had a mass. Um, oh God! Everybody, everybody went out and started buying up all the weapons and oh yeah, and yeah. oh yeah, bullets. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they got bullets. You remember? Um, they didn't tell Rock? us about it though. No, nope. no, they do it secretly. Yeah, they do everything secretly. That's why you need one good white friend, man. That's yeah. yeah. You, 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 hey, we're going to buy the bullets up in Walmart at six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you Pull around to the side because we're going to be camped out already. Right, and, and they're taught to have at least five hundred rounds per weapon, and we're taught how. We're gonna shoot all our ammunition up on New Year's Eve. But like Chris Rock said, you, you, hey, it's gonna get so bad with bullets. I remember him saying this. He said, when you exactly. shoot somebody, you're gonna have to dig the bullet out of them. Yep, that's right. I remember that. He said, anybody you shoot, they're that's gonna right. have to really, you gotta yeah. really have beef with them. Yeah, you do. Well, other than that, you're gonna be talking that shit out, man. Right. Well, we talking about last year. Um, I messed around and, ex- and and got rid of all the went to the range and shot all my my rounds for a particular gun, his AK. Mm. And we talking about 
I caught hell yeah. trying to find ammunition. For yeah. Them. AKs and um, AR-15s, they know yeah. the blacks, the hoods. Yeah, we, we like that. Like so so they, they stopped doing the, the mass production. You, well, you can get them online, but it's yeah. yeah. a little long and it's going to be priced higher and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, so look, let me say this, then we're going to get out of this part. Hey, don't forget about Emmett Till. Always remember what was done Always. to him. That's right. Medgar Evers. Yes. Look him up. You don't know who he is. MLK. Malcolm X. And one other thing that I want to say, man, before we can truly get over as a people, man, we need to have a jury of our peers. Right. Not my age group. Right. That don't look like me. And then when uh, it just needs to be it needs to be fair, man. Right. It needs but that's to be a, fair. That's a part of what they call the voir dire. The voir dire is when um, they actually do the jury selection. Mm -hmm. That's got that be that's based on your lawyer yeah, and what and they, the they want. Yep. Right, because like some people are better witnesses or better yeah. jurors, and they might be they might lean towards your position mm -hmm. or my position. Right. So that that's why you wanna you wanna have a good lawyer to look that up for you. Check this out. We're about to transition over into here. Hair. I, know, I, know. And I know, I'm just saying. Hair. I know, I know. And but look, <laughs> <Hair. Hair. laughs> alright, so look, check this out. On January 15, 1982, James Brown and Al Sharpton went to the White House <laughs> to negotiate MLK Day. Did you All know right. that? No, I didn't. I thought and James Brown told, told Al Sharpton, hey, look, man, if you're going to go, your hair got to look like mine. Wow. So part That's of MLK else. Day was because of a perm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Isn't that something? Creamy crack. Creamy crack. Wow. <laughs> or the perm burn. The perm, the perm burn, burn, baby. Yeah. Wow. Hey, so look, before we get into that, Dan, you got some you got some comedy for us? You got, oh man. Um, you, you know, know I reserve all of my comedy for paid gigs. I got two dollars. You get sarcasm. <laughs> you know, I'll still wait on that yeah, cash. Yeah, two dollars. Yeah, two dollars. <laughs> I think man. we can put six dollars together for you. Oh, I thought she was supposed to give us five dollars from last week when she was oh, buying man. us lunch. Yeah, yeah. then somebody had a job interview going on and they was making yeah. more money than me. How did I didn't get it. Very good. Nobody yeah. black got it. Uh, For real. Wow. Nobody black got it. Wow. You know, I had a situation. Um, I could definitely tell y'all about the situation real quick. Uh, so, common names. People have common names. Like Byron Williams, that's a common name. That's a white I'm guy's a common name. name now. I'm Danielle Thomas. I'm a common name. So, common names happen. So, where my job is now, I have a great company I work for. Um, but we deal with cases. So, I'm sitting there the other day, and I get this case in, and my supervisor i'm working on a different case and my supervisor says danielle um do you have uh terry peterson and i like zoned out for a minute y'all and i was like nah i'm shaking my head but in my head i'm going back to you know how you do the uh, the bet the bet story it's just like <laughs> the summer of 1985 <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be there. This is my story. <laughs> so that's where I was at in my own world. And I'm like, I had a Terry Peterson. <laughs> Until Big Booty Judy came around. <laughs> Judy had strong sides, <laughs> both of her side teeth and, you know, some strong edges and everything. And she ah! just... <laughs> he fell for that and I lost him, you know. Right. And I was really kind of hurt by this. And you know, so then a coworker was like, No, 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 I, I, I have I have Mr. Peterson and I'm looking and I'm like, uh, okay. you got Mr. Peterson. <laughs> so my coworker was like, But I can't seem to get him to work. And I'm like, she said, I've been trying for twenty minutes and I'm like, twenty minutes. I tried to get that nigga to work for six years. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't want to work. So then my supervisor was like, hold on, hold on, I got it, I got it. She was like, boom, okay, I got him. I got him to work. And I'm like, that's got to be witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> so then they are good for breaks. They take 15-minute breaks. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I had to let the dog out. And I'm sitting there, and on a 15-minute break, now my backyard sits on some acres. So it was like, okay. For some reason, my little eight-pound dog will go to the tire right side to go and take a dunk. She got to go get that. She go fertilize the grass on that side. But then she goes all the way to the other side of the yard to pee, to water the grass. So I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. It's what she's been doing. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I wonder what, what Terry doing with life. So I go on social media, you know, I type in his name, and I'm like, oh. Stalker. 
<laughs> I was. I was like, Terry looking nice. Oh, he got a Bible app. He playing words with friends. <laughs> wow, he's doing good. He ain't even with Big Booty Judy no more. So he's single. <laughs> so I look up and then I see my dog go from over where she done fertilized the grass and she make her way to go water the grass. And then the reality hit me that my dog had more sense than me at that point, right? What's that? Because my dog went and fertilized the grass and she left. She didn't go back to check Ooh, on the grass. She didn't go back yes. to see if the grass mama had a ride to church or Sunday school. She just left, and she went to water the grass. And I was like, this dog got way more sense than a lot of us out here. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Leave the fertilizer alone, yep. ladies, yep. and just go ahead and let the fertilizer be with Big Booty Julie. We will double back yeah. on that. <laughs> so that's all I got for y'all today. <laughs> all right, so let me ask y'all a question, ladies. What is it with women... And hair. Well, you know what? Let me let me do this. Let me because ours is gonna be short. Uh, apparently, <laughs> I hair? have no relationship <laughs> with hair. hair. We fell out a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> but no, this is not for real. That, that's, don't, don't laugh that damn. Funny. No, I'm laughing. That damn funny. It ain't that damn funny. It is. No, it's not. It is. It's so funny. Offended. Matter of fact, uh, trying to give us some fellas that used to have Jerry curls put together a class action lawsuit. Uh, you. I'm I'm serious here. I'm so serious. <laughs> this how this no, shit happens. Listen, because I'm with you on that, and I think that if you guys have really nice shaped heads, and if you have a nice Thank shaped you. head, and you're a guy, let it go, please. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You listen, you can't onion, do no comb over. If you don't have an onion listen. head, then work it out. But here's my thing, though. It, it was easy for me mm-hmm. to go to go ball. I mean, if I had much choice, you know. Uh, <laughs> this this is a result of uh, uh, S curl. Jerry Curl, Pump Waves. Wow. What was the other shit? Was anything with lie in it, okay? Mm-hmm. But yeah. I also wore a boy head a lot. So I only grow my hair back in the summer. You know, you want to flex in the summer. Yeah. And then one summer, that one Pump Wave didn't... Pump. It's it's like, it didn't wave. <laughs> yeah. It didn't wave. And then my mama said, hey, baby, uh, <laughs> you might want to do something about that. I said, oh. After that, that's how the Gumby off. was See? created. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I had that one too. That was the last, that was the last hairstyle I had. Was the Gumby. Wow. And you fall out on one side, you just, you know what? Right. 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 Keep yeah. it moving. Oh, speaking of, check this out. I'm glad we're talking about this. Um, did a little research. I got an Who incoming that? caller. Okay. All right. Remind, me, remind okay. me to get back to that point. Go ahead. What you got? Hello, caller. Good afternoon. Well, good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. morning. So, what up, though? What you got, man? Man, I'm just calling, man. I heard y'all talking. Um, I didn't get a chance to really catch the catch a lot of podcasts. I'm at work bartending this morning. These lousy ass people got me up in here. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I was I was catching the part where y'all was talking about like as far as like more black empowerment in our neighborhoods and spend you know keeping everything in our neighborhood. I think I think that's I heard that part. Yeah. Were we were we talking about that part today. Uh, we, yeah, go ahead, man, real quick. You know, cause we, okay. we, we talking yeah, about hair yeah. now, which I don't have any. Oh, y'all you know, talking about hair? Yeah, we talking about, about hair, man. Hair. This is a oh, short we topic. Know. Okay, <laughs> we'll we roll with the hair then. I know how women no, are. No, go ahead. You, you got something? Yeah. I mean, what you want to do, man? What's, what's your, uh, let me ask you a question. What's your what's take that? on women and their relationship with hair? Oh, wait a minute. Let me add to that. Buck, you there? Okay, listen. I'm here. I'm here. What <laughs> is it with men who have an issue with if the hair is long or if the hair is, is she looking like a bald-headed chipmunk, but she's still cute? Okay, what's what's the deal? What's the hair hey, thing? Because um, oh, I really? switch up. I switch up and I'll I mean, you know, it really, it's... <sighs> I think well, it's the person. Hair? I think it's really the person and how it actually fits that person's face. But it can still fit your face if it's long or if it's short. For us, no, it's, it's, for it's all about it. For about. women, it's like medicine. I mean, <laughs> it's like medicine we, to the yeah, soul. When we get our hair did, you know, it's, it's we be awesome. feeling amazing. And I we don't care if it's really? long or if it's short. If it's done. Just like when I wear this hair down, I feel real sexy. That's why I keep it up. Hey. Now, I ain't see? playing honestly. That's why you never wore it down in the studio. I'm all the way down. Right. Uh, it's wear it down, it'd be tickling the hair. Okay. I guess it's different with me. So, yeah. But What'd you say, I, guess it's, I guess it's different with us because hell, I didn't have that George Jefferson going on. I, I got rid of that girl. Uh, so. Thank Damn. you, thank but you. I've know been, hey, been bald here since I've been like 24 years thank old. Thank you. Hey, but you know I, that I, George I, Jefferson gonna come back, man, because no, it's, it's bald in the middle, no. and this is ski slope. Right. The lips can just slide no. up and down it, no. man. That's Let a giant slide, uh, baby. Let me tell you something. Don't be trying to braid your hair and fold. Don't be trying to braid your hair and fold it over. No, that ain't fun. You just slick it down, put some Vaseline on, just let them run and slide across the top of your head. I'm telling y'all, it's a thing, and my thing is. 
because it's like if, if they be holding on to it. And my thing is, yeah. your, your scalp isn't, sweetie, so let it go. Just but you know what? Let, you know what? Let See, it go. Wow. <laughs> Let Women go. be going, y'all be going hard on us, yeah. man. If you don't have the right shaped head, like you got like an onion shaped head, then I'm just like, you know what, well, let's try a couple of things. But if you got that perfect bald head, man, a bald headed brother, that's like the most sexiest thing, thing. ever. And we, we like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, women, salt love, and women love mine. Yes, right. and we I love do. salt and pepper, so yes, quit dying y'all beard. Right, 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 check this out, real quick, real quick. Beards. Speaking of salt and pepper, yeah, um, you remember that uh, asymmetric hairstyle she had? Yeah. yeah. That came about as a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, her, her auntie gave her a perm, yep. and it stayed and too it long, and it fell out. Yeah, yeah. so she side. had to have it yep. cut. And then uh, was it uh, the the other girl? I think Pep, Pep. had to take uh, like brown hair dye and to cover fill up it the in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it became a thing. Yeah, and everybody else, all the rest of y'all went up and got that right, hairstyle. Right. Like I want hey, everyone. Hey, it was good talking to y'all. All right, hey, bro. Y'all, make that hey, y'all money, bro. Y'all have a blessed day. Okay, I'll camera. catch y'all next Monday. Okay, Pull all right, bro. Man. All right, bet. Yeah, Here. but uh, back to what you were saying about the uh, the guys dying their beards. I mean, shit, I did that. As soon as I, I seen think like that two is specs. So, I'm going to tell you this. When I see it, it looked like a clown. Let me tell you something. Hold up. See, you know what? Okay, see, did you <laughs> really want to go there? Why is it? Why is it? See, now, see, now. I'm not talking no, no. about you. I, no, because all this great. It's just, no, that is beautiful. I know. Let me finish my point. The point that I'm trying to make is. Women go hard on guys, but if guys went hard on women on some of the shit that we see y'all do, like what? Oh my yeah. god, like uh, the blue hair. What's too up with too that? much excessive hair. Excessive. Like you, hair. you come to work yesterday, you had brush waves. <laughs> Today, it's already done. You look that. like five horses. Uh oh, look it. Look oh, it. she look taking it down. Talking about me, y'all look know look I got. You had no damn brush wave. Your hair's your hair's that long. No, I'm talking about brush wave. I'm just saying. She, that's that's a, a, look at she, she looking all sexy, y'all. Look at her. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know you all there. We <laughs> like variety. You all right, though. We like variety. We like variety of things. You know, and you just kind of do it. And it's funny because my hair, I have dreadlocks. I have yeah. dreadlocks. I've had them for no, about 18 years. Had dreadlocks. Okay, fine. But over the summertime, during the pandemic, you know, wasn't nobody trying to lock. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and did the box braids. Cousin did the box braids. Right. It was fly. Okay, dope. But then I'm like, all right, go back to the locks. Well, now it's become a thing of, what happened to your hair? What happened to your locks? They still there. They right. never left. Yeah, I'm like, like, they, they never left. About your they still there. Of stuff. I know. I'm like, people need, you here. know what? People need to mind the business. I just asked one question. People need to mind the business that pays them. Exactly. I'm just saying, you know, guys, I just asked the they question, were, and it was the result. This nah, is, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, said, hair is very emotional. Hair is very emotional. For and then you come with inches the next. But that's okay. No, I'm gonna talk about you. For real. You I really was. No. So you said you took that shit personal? Hey, yeah, hey look, and I got a bo my boss spot is coming back. I have hair on it. So I don't uh -oh. have jalapeno. Thank you, work Thank you, work Jesus. Say, man. Jesus. Wow. Wow. It's personal. I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all like, was like, wow. Hey. Listen, Congratulations. Like, no. <laughs> I think that's, is that what you said? Did say? you see the ball? This, this, this hair is, is a good hair. Yes. That, yes. that means she's yes. getting some vitamin D. You saw the oh. movie. No, no. <laughs> the that's probably ah. why my hair falling out right So you put some that vitamin, Too much D, vitamin D cream on the top? No, I haven't received any. Oh. That's sad. Okay. The movie Good Hair, where the weave was talking. Yeah. And I was just sitting there watching this movie like, Keep braiding, girls. Just hey, keep braiding. We, in the name coach. of the Lord, keep braiding. We right. just got to review safe. Just keep braiding. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Good head. They said weave is, no, wigs are the mother. I guess the wigs back in the 60s were the Supreme right. all Yeah. And uh -huh. then, then what happened? You had, you had the, the weave came next. Yeah, and then was what? Then it came back the lace fronts, right? Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, but here's the thing, though. I yeah, don't you know talk way more than you got dudes out here, man. You got dudes out here that got lace front beards. Okay, and I, yeah, they are I didn't know this until a couple years ago when I, when I had Harvey. my big, my beard real yeah. big. Women would just come up to me and just, oh my god, and just grab my beard, and, see if it's and then real. I'd be like, oh my god, you know, so, so I, <laughs> like we fair, right? <laughs> so it's like a tug of war. You know, <laughs> you don't be touching me. You don't expect to get you know touched back. I said, "Why would you do that?" She said, "Because you know, it's guys out here wearing fake beards." I didn't know that. Yeah. Until I seen what last year the guys are getting the what? beards and stuff. You're talking about hair. Dude, there's dudes out here getting weaves in their head. Oh, yeah. no, yeah. Steve Harvey yeah. did it. But Steve I Harvey I just want to say this. Yeah. Um, we us I think I speak for the mass majority of the women. 
We love y'all salt and pepper here. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> we do not Ten mind yes. our head. Oh, yes. no, I promise not. you don't. And trim your beard a little bit around you, your mouth, baby. I agree. Just trim love it just it. a little just bit a little around. Bit. I agree. Please. Make, and make, make sure you wash it. Make it. Yeah, you don't want to open it. Wash it. Food, food, food up in it or nothing. You know. Yes, you need to wash it. Yeah, yeah. You got condition. If you don't condition, I find you a good lady that condition your beard. I don't know. I woke up like this, y'all. I apologize. And that's beautiful. I woke up like this. I woke up like Ladies, do y'all like conditioning, man? Yeah. Commission like commission beers? Yeah. <laughs> commission, commission beers. Actually, yeah. Oh, I yeah. don't know. Tatani, the body. Yeah, get that beer condition. Don't get it conditioned by just anybody. No. Her you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It could be messed up. Yeah, you want nice. I was- you nice, mean, pleasant. Okay, oh, 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 I have to saying? do this disclaimer. Byron is my brother. Shut up. Yeah. Like, oh, I've been text messages talking about some, uh, yeah, so what's up? You keep talking about that bald head. Uh, you, know your husband, you know your husband might be tuning in. Like, uh, Byron is my brother, but I do like bald head. Yeah, she's safe. That, she's safe. safe. She's all right. Safe, she's mom. safe. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I agree. You know, I, I died mine for a minute, but um, I only had like a couple of speckles, and the first time I seen it, it tripped me out because I put some lotion on. And I was like, damn, this lotion will not go away. And it just kept rubbing, kept rubbing, wet the rag. And I was like, oh! That's, 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 that's right, baby. Uh, that's that's right. You know? The first, the first you start thinking about it, stuff, you're like, oh. I'm going to have to call her. What did we see? <laughs> Mother Nature. Then I, I cut it. He was calling Mother Nature. It. Then I was like, okay. There was another one came up. Another one came up. Yeah. It was about six of us. No. I'm telling you. And I'm sorry. They could disappear. Uh, did y'all see Denzel's new movie coming out? No. Denzel got a lot more salt and pepper. And I'm just like, He's Denzel. He's like 66. It don't like matter. Yeah, he looks Denzel, good, though. Yeah. Denzel Do he still look good look with like, it? Yes. He still look like a yeah. tall glass of ain't got good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how old tall Denzel glass. get. Yeah. Tall glass. But you know, that, just like for women with, with y'all hair, like, see, women can dye their hair yeah. right. all they want. A guy dye their hair, man, it's the end of the world. Ah, oh, it's too black. <laughs> your hair don't match the wrinkles in your face. You know, I mean, but y'all can dye your hair. Because if you got on your chest, that's gray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have your hair, no black, blue. Right, exactly. It's not matching. All the taco meat need to match. You know? <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> the curtains yeah. need to match. So the curtains need to match. The drinks. <laughs> Hey, hey, somebody lied. Hey. It's hey, snowing down here. <laughs> I'm just saying, though. I mean, you know, but it took me a minute. I say maybe in the last two years, I just got used okay. to the song. Pepper. Gotcha. What, what, we got some? Got a call or something? Tamisha, what you doing over there? It's, what, Byron, what how are you, you doing? doing, Byron? What, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a mama. It was oh, a no, mama man, thing. we was nine minutes late. Man. We were <laughs> over nine minutes. It was a mama thing. <laughs> So Tamisha, what do you, you want to what do you want to add in regards to hair? I mean, how does how does hair, hair make y'all um, feel? Is it necessary? I mean, what about perms? I, I won't leave like out that. the house without my hair dead, mm-hmm. and my family know it. The whole nine, I'm not wearing no scarves out in public. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, mm-hmm. I'm not wearing no pajamas, no. none of that. And I have taught mm-hmm. my younger, um, well, I only have well on my mom's side. Janae, she knows better. My little cousins, mm-hmm. they knows better. That's good. Mm-hmm. And go get a hat. Go, go get, get a, a wig. Oh, that's what we it's call our like, um, wigs. We call get, go get a hat. We call yeah. Friends. Go get we a call them a hat. Friend. Get a, a hat. You out. know, something real easy. Boom, yeah. boom. Have your life together, please, when you leave out. Okay, so here, here, a little disclaimer. This is something guys talk about. Um, when you first meet us and you got that wig on, um, when we come to see you, Please have that same wig. <laughs> well, or just the hairdo, period. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. Well, you know, you can, it can't be no drastic change. It can't real be quick. A change. You know what? Oh. At least, at least, <laughs> listen. Wig. Listen. I, in the I can't come see Not you and you got the fair faucet. And then and, turn and, around. And then turn around. And I got and, brush wave. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm. Nah. Mm. I mean, it's, it's got to be a gradual change. It it's like, it, like if, we, if we went out and then you tell me to come over the next day or two days later, whatever. You can't just guys. We're visual. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta ease us. But then once we get in good, it's all good, right? No, it's nah, well. Still. I mean, it's still, at some point it's we still. gonna see. I mean, I don't like role play. At no. some point we're gonna see. Yeah, role play is <laughs> role good. Play is but ain't nobody role playing every day. You can't role play with no bonnet. Well, you're not, not playing with no bonnet. Ain't nobody role playing sure. when you get up off, you get up off that, uh, you get up off. Hey, my wig, for sure. Shit, my rainy, you role playing. My... I'm not points. saying, I, I don't have a problem. You just don't, I don't want no drastic no, change. Listen, yeah, no guy does, believe it or not. Really? They're not, they're not going to tell Preacher's you that. Preacher's behind no. They're not gonna tell you that. I'm taking my hair down. Maybe that's see that's a drastic change. Maybe that's why I ain't got chose yet. 
What's your hair with looks good. Oh my gosh, she's, she's, you know we, we need to talk good. about that. I think we should do a little dating segment for me too. We've been saying for a long time yeah. we're gonna do speed dating and then yeah, I got, I some, I got somebody for you. But he has to be he has to be good. I don't want nobody's son, like little boy or nothing like that. Wait, wait, I'm wait but Byron so is I'm in the pedophile no, service? What the hell are you doing? No, talking? I'm saying you know how some guys they still want to be out here playing around and spare me that. I got Byron. enough friends. We roll with somebody, hey, we know, know men. Probably because Byron, men. I don't know. I, I, I don't think want nobody that him. just wanna me. I think rabbit. you can trust Byron's Yeah, straight, I, I, yeah, heck yeah. I yeah you, you, they watch the show. They too. watch the show. So they know you don't want the jack. You want the slow sausage. Yeah, but I, I think I want to date. <laughs> I honestly Jesus. want to date. There's nothing wrong with you. You want to date? date? Mm-hmm. I, I talked to good. my son about it too. So uh let's, so let's, like so get out. Where can you take a person to date right, right. now? You can go to uh you can go to urgent care. Uh, no. You, you can actually store. ride around. Uh, you can ride around you can ride Bilal. Bilal. <laughs> you can walk uh, on a hey, river walk. Let's see. Downtown Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, you can, we, you can, that's the best. You still yeah, you have the river walk. Yeah. You got river all that pretty stuff down there. Yeah. Um, it's cold. You, though. The malls are still quick. open yeah. too. Just to get out, you know. Wow. Um, Fair Lane Mall is open, and that's what I saw. Okay. Uh, we was there to take pictures, family um, Yeah, you pictures. can do bike trails, walk trails. Like, can I tell y'all what happened to my sister real quick? Yes. Okay. Grand River in Greenfield, my sister is pregnant with my nephew, awesome. and she had my niece in the car. Dude, you were wrong. You Uh-oh. were speeding up behind my sister, so she tried to hurry up and move out the way because she had precious cargo in her truck. She pulled over. You had the audacity to pull over and pull out a gun on my sister. And, she, wow. and she's pregnant. That's terrible. Man. And it was a car full of people. God bless your soul, and thank God, you know, um, didn't nobody catch it or wow, see it. But if you listening or you get it, you coward. need to chill out. He's a coward. She was so nervous, and I'm sorry, sister. And she want to leave, and she we had her here for a couple of years, but she out of here. She said she can't even do Detroit. She was shaking. I uh, different up here, man. It and I mean, if you wrong, you wrong, bro. Just keep on going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What are you trying to shoot up? Why? Okay. Oh, miss man. I right, look. Anything else? Anything I want to add in regards to hair? Uh, oh, we clean it hair, up and everything. Weave. Yeah. Be you. Do what you like. Uh, Wear yeah. what you like. Exactly. Yeah. I mean. If it's, yeah, it's, and it, I agree. I agree. Now, look, I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. I don't nobody think I'm taking no shots at people. Um, I mean, I can't talk about nobody. I don't have no damn hair. You know? I, shit. I mean, do you. I did me. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, if, if you like wearing, you know, your lace fronts or, or whatever, your brush way, I, you know, especially as black women, whatever y'all do, y'all going to look good. As long as you got confidence in yourself. And uh, you carry yourself the right way. Whatever y'all do, we're going to adjust to whatever it is y'all do anyway. Yep. Uh, but like I said, you know, just don't, don't just bring that And we trendsetters. You know? um, yeah, the definitely. Caucasian folks quick to take our hairdos and put a different name on it like they did them cornrows. And our complexion. Quit playing. And they girl cornrows, dreadlocks. I'm seeing more and more Caucasian women with dreadlocks. And what do they call corn, corn cornrows now? They call them... Um, sure. Cultural they call it, appropriation. <laughs> 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 uh, they calling it something. No, I feel we've so been wearing braids to the back and stuff right. like that. We've been Quit doing playing. It. They trying to but catch you know what? It's, it's, mustard. It's ho- it's it's homage to the black race. Yeah, That's right. yeah, yes. Take it how I, you know what. Yeah. Mm. They've been stealing from us and making it their own. Yeah, that is. Anytime okay, they come in your community, they taking it over. So what y'all gonna do if y'all kill us all? Hey, what's okay. your they like, gonna I keep got one like, of two of us. I only <laughs> got like two boxes of bullets. What are you doing? Right. <laughs> what you gonna do? She just said, "What you gonna do?" I they kill us. The... No, we ain't going nowhere. We, Yo, we the, world yeah, the world needs us. The world needs us. They just want to give us a hard time. They just want to do it. Somebody to do their work for. Can you imagine if, like they said, go back to Africa? We go back to Africa, <laughs> and everything, everything that. that was invented or spawned by us. We take, we it, take back. it back with us. And this guess what happens? Whole... Back to the Stone Age. But my yeah, thing is, don't, is. don't sit there and tell me go back to Africa because it wasn't like my people came over here willingly. So if you want us to go back, send us back, but y'all not going to return no stolen goods. Right. So if you want uh, to, uh, let's, let's see, Delta, Delta, yeah. we can go first class. What but, about the few you know, that was here? Yeah, go know, back to the east exactly. side. Some of us already here. Yeah, some of us are already here. And, you know, they, they call them Indians. <laughs> yeah. You know, so uh, am I Andy? Well, um, this was a very black. interesting it MLK fun, day I'm that you will never see back. anywhere I'm else. We back. talked yeah. about racism, Gotta go back systemic to segregation. <laughs> uh, Danny's, Danny's still employed. I'm still employed. Shout out to Danny. Yeah. 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 I, w- I would like to. There you go. And I 
Hey, that's a long ass applause. I got it. Hey, that was my first know. time pressing it on oh. that new one. I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't get no long right ass one. applause Gee. like that. Oh. So you got to get a job to have a long ass applause like that? A black man with a job and a bald head. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. So. <laughs> it's and like a great two claps, beard. Like. Yes. <laughs> All right, look, it was fun, y'all, as usual. Yes. Do something great for MLK Day. Yes. Uh, turn the other cheek. Yeah, okay. And I ain't talking about fighting. I'm talking about y'all strippers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they turning them up at? Everything closed. Everything closed. <laughs> right, they still dancing, though. I heard they, have, oh, they got them in somebody's basement. Yeah. Yeah. They got them underground. Yeah. Yeah. So a friend told me. So a friend told mm -hmm. Yes. What's that? What is it? I heard booty it was house. a booty house. <laughs> nah. Uh, you got it. Yeah, it is. Crack a booty house. Crack house. Yeah. Booty house. Basement, you know, everybody gonna still work. They gonna find a way to they get gonna that find money. A way. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, uh, I'm mad at hey, but look, yeah. hey, keep hope alive. Uh, Definitely. Can we all just get along? Anybody else Please. got some shit? Uh, Love, peace, and soul. We want to breathe. We want to breathe. Please. Hey, since that damn six hundred dollars stimulus check, All right. get your hand out of my pocket. Hey. It's not bullshitting. Hey, hey we see y'all next right. week. See you All right. Peace. All right. Bye, guys.